when we have a high poly model like this model cross shading line as we can see uh, this is for class simulation and it has lots of polygon if you want to using in a fixed position and a fixed simulation position you don't need to such a high poly of model from this in this case we want to use polygon reduction simply uh, you can click holding alt and polygon reduction <clears throat> please waiting for calculating and as you can see it automatically re reduce its, pol uh, its uh, polygon automatically when you here in, in, in settings we have the reduction strengths of course if you uh, increase the strengths of the reduction you have more polygon to be remote as you can see you can turn it any number that you want or if you want you can change the triangle count here type any number here or <clears throat> if you want to count uh, vertex and this is reminding edges to remove and any number that it's a information number but you can change it any preserve three boundaries preserve three boundaries is uh, for uh, model like this that has a boundary here we insert another uh, per, for disk insert another polygon reduction and as you can see it's reduced its polygon counts here if you untick the preserve to the boundaries as you can see we lose its boundary model it's very important to be tick on it it's in the default and this is on the boundary uh, reduction angle that preserve the angle of the boundary here you can change in any number that you want for example from zero as you can see the if you take it to the zero the angle of this polygon maintain but if you type a number it's changed the angle as you can see okay if you want to change angle you can change it Preserve UV boundary. I give an example for these genes here. Okay, we have a line here and it's night topology, but I want to re reduce the polygon count. Holding Alt and automatically it's doing its job. For example, we need more in strings and it reduces its polygon. Okay, this model has an uv here if you hold and shift and double click on it you can see it's uh oh it's very polygon reduction bad manner okay okay this is its uv as you can see uh but if you uh after that i want to sorry insert another program reduction i don't know what happened to that okay i make a copy of these two in two version one here and another one here in this one i tick the preserve uv boundaries and in this one, uh, I deactivate the preserve UV boundary. Click and drag in both of them and make them editable. What a strange things happen here. Sorry. okay in this example in these genes i want to explain uh, preserve uv boundary for example this gene we have an uv here you can hold and shift and double click in this uv and we have the uv when you reduce the polygon you have to if your model has an uv you have to activate uh, preserve uv boundary these are uv boundaries and it's important to preserve them of definitely tick test for doing that 
Okay, and then here it says zero reminding edge to collapse. No reduction possible. It's end of the reduction for this gene. Okay, we're going to the another example. An important thing happened here. You can reduce the polygon of many objects. You can simply click and direct two objects on the polygon reduction. In this case, it's automatically uh, <clears throat> reduction the polygon uh, each object separately as you can see we have a very low poly mo uh, model and uh, a high poly model here with, uh, in two in a, one object here for example so the polygon reduction re reduces the polygon any object individually but as you can see if we activate it it reduced its polygon very very bad because uh, our main object is very in a low poly so in this case for correcting that issue you have to um, activate reduce all generator children as a one object when you tick that as you can see the software uh, calculate all these objects in one object and maintain its polygon here and just reduce in its polygon here so when you have a very low poly polygon, uh, polygon that are attached to your high poly polygon, definitely active this model here, this uh, option here. Okay, this is polygon reduction, very easy and simple. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.